Hi everyone, uh, I'm Chef Jun Lee uh, from Suanye Restaurant, uh, South Korea. So I'm gonna make uh, three dishes for my restaurant. It's not direct interpretation, but um, I really kind of, uh, um, I love to use a lot of uh, tweaks uh, from Korean cuisine and some uh, French cuisine. Um, you know, that's because people normally uh, consider like a Korean cuisine should have like certain ingredients and but I don't believe like if you just put a little bit of a kimchi on top of everything it's, it's not gonna be a Korean cuisine just so I'm just gonna uh, take the idea of eating habit first and then ingredients so I'm gonna make uh, little tarts uh, this is uh, uh, what we serve pretty much the uh, uh, the first bites and I took the idea from the rice and this gangdenjang and sam. So as I mentioned before, these three components can make the one really good sam. Like if you had a protein, it would be better, but that's uh, fundamental. And so I took the idea of having a grain by using a couscous salad with a little bit of a celery for the, uh, the crunch texture and the uh, uh, crispy tart shell for like, you know, as a cup holding everything. I have a post cure egg right here. It works as like the uh, uh, pork belly that normally people go with the uh, sum. So it has a uh, egg yolk, which has a lot of fat and the, uh, the egg white parts that kind of uh, delivers the same uh, mouth texture as the, uh, the, the flesh part of the uh, pork belly. And I have a, a garlic aioli right here. Um, I might use the doenjang uh, uh, for the uh, flavoring this sauce, but I just took the, took the flavor of garlic because, um, you know, I don't know, that was just my choice. Like, like having, rather than having doenjang, I just take the, the fundamental flavor from this one. I, and I believe it's a garlic. And I have a sort of like a uh, variety of uh, uh, herbs and uh, Korean namur. Mm. Right, let me, uh, let me build this. So this is seasoned with a little bit of a salt and olive oil, and it goes the bottom of this tart shell. And some piece of the Actually, two pieces of this kill eggs. When this kill eggs pops out in your mouth, it releases all the uh, goody egg yolk, uh, kind of a runny egg yolk in, in your mouth. And I believe that's the same mouth feeling as when you have a sound with the Korean barbecue, the pork belly, when you, when you have a first bite, you know, super super juicy uh, uh, fat release in your mouth and this is it works uh, pretty much the same thing and then I'm gonna drizzle little, this little bit of a uh, uh, garlic aioli and add a, like a few drops of this perilous seed oil Mix it well. So simply just put these uh, herbs on top of the tart. And maybe uh, finish with a little bit of the uh, more sesame oil. And there you go. So even though it's very much looks like kind of a, a 
like the same tart you can see pretty much every contemporary fine dining restaurant, but it has the, uh, the main components of a uh, uh, Korean flavor, just like uh, much more like, a, like a microgreens and microherbs, but it actually delivers the same uh, flavor profile as the, uh, this sum, but much smaller portion. And it has a couscous, which delivers a similar uh, mouth filling as the rice, but much smaller size. And all the sauce and the uh, uh, poached quail eggs delivers a similar uh, flavor and mouth filling as the uh, gangdaenjang right here. And just like as I made a sum, like a little pouch like this, we just use a tar shell for, for better uh, eating experience. Much clearer uh, way to enjoy the sum. And it has a mixture of a texture like a crunchiness and, and runny egg yolks and some kind of a fibery uh, texture from, uh, from the herbs. And it works perfectly uh, with this little small bites, but it's, 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 it's plenty enough to deliver like how like Korean people enjoy the flavor of this sum. And this is our version of the uh, uh, you know, sambal.